So today we'll be reviewing Vex Offensive and how it stacks up to the other seasons. So we're obviously going to be comparing this to like the Menagerie, the Forges, and the Reckoning. So I will say the Vex Offensive, I actually like it. I actually like it a lot. I think it's fun. I think it's almost to Menagerie level. But I think the Menagerie is just by far the best. Uh hands down but vex offensive comes very close to it i think if i were to like rate them i'd probably put menagerie at first vex offensive second the forges third and obviously reckoning would be last because reckoning sucks but vex offensive is really fun i think they nailed it right out of the park i wish i kind of wish the vex offensive stayed but at the same time i don't because i think the loot for the Vex Offensive is garbage. Which is really weird because usually if the loot's not good, I wouldn't like I wouldn't like it. But I think as a as an activity, the Vex Offensive is a lot of fun. It's very proactive. You have to actually do stuff. I mean you can wing it and just kind of like let the other people do it. But it's still fun trying to get the stuff for the title get like getting ready for that was fun like they made me use like smgs hand cannons bows all this other stuff which i'm not gonna lie usually i wouldn't like that but because the vex offensive is fun i didn't mind it that much actually i think the hardest part for me was when i was getting the the void melee kills because hunters have horrible melee melee abilities and warlocks are just too weak in my opinion so it obviously fell down to the titan because what was it top tree strike no top, top tree void has the one where you get a uh, shield back from a hit and it's until the enemy dies so your ability does not get used up until it dies which was really cool or you can use bottom tree bottom tree void is also a great one as well but ultimately i yeah i i enjoyed the vex offensive i think the rewards are really garbage though okay so let's get to let's get down to the rewards the rewards in my opinion are a little lackluster actually a lot lackluster because they're let's start out with the looks it's literally curse of osiris weapons retooled to be look to look more like vex like grown like with like uh, grass and whatnot which i really do appreciate that but i think the best thing would have been to be give us weapons that look like vex weapons like something that looks like one of their blasters but a little bit more tooled into like weapons like like a hand cannon that looks like one of their blasters or better yet give us like a variation of the raid armor but retooled in a way where it's like oh this armor like the mo it, the ha it has moss it has grass coming out it, i like make it look super different but it's like the weapon frame is still there usually i'm not a big fan of reskins but if it makes sense in the lore i don't mind it so a great example is the armor set from vex offensive aside from a few things i think it looks a little bit too basic i think i would have liked I, I think i would have preferred is if they used some of the designs for the vex and make the armor looks look a little bit more vex themed that's the thing i think it should have just as like artistically it should have been more towards vex looking instead of like oh yeah this armor is just literally armor but it has copper and green and moss on it to signify that it's like old vex or not not old uh new vex armor looking or whatever that's my initial gripe with this vex offensive is that none of the rewards seem unique or different it's just literally curse of osiris weapons and a very basic armor set that's like vex themed I would have preferred if they give me like an actual i don't know vex leg or a vex arm or 
a helmet that has a Vex eye in the middle. Something like that. Where it's like, it's very Vex infused, but it's old, like has moss growing out. I don't remember the timeline, but like grass infused and like old school shit look. Cause I know like the timeline for them was really fucking weird. But that's what I would have preferred. I would have preferred if it was more infused with Vex instead of just, hey, look, I have pants, but I have moss and grass going. So it means that I'm old Vex. I get it. I get what you guys were trying to do. I just feel like it would have resonated better if it, we actually had either Vex parts or it was more Vex infused. I don't know. That's just my thing. Weapons. Uh. Aside from them being literal reskins of Curse of Osiris, I think the weapons are fine. I'm never going to use any of them because I don't like how they look. Aside from maybe the pulse rifle because it reminds me of the Stranger's pulse rifle from Destiny 1. Other than that, I'm probably not going to use any of this. And the fact that they only gave us four weapons is really disappointing. So, I would say the Vex Offensive as an activity is really good, but the rewards are probably the last like they come in last the rewards they're last to every other season that's come before them so ultimately i say the vex offensive as an activity was great and the rewards were garbage so that's pretty much my little review for this video i wanted to review vex offensive because honestly i really do like vex offensive a lot i run it more just because when i have nothing to do and uh I need something to grind for i go to the vex offensive to get kills or to do this or to do that or i just continue doing uh, bounties for ikora i can't wait until we go defeat the undying mind again since he did he was in destiny one other than that let me know what you guys think about this season let me know what you guys think about the activity itself do you guys actually like it do you guys not mind the little gripes that i had about the armor and the weapons let me know in the comments below also follow me on my twitter to see my live reactions to whatnot or if you just want to talk to me and my other uh, social media outlets are in the bottom of the description. So let me know, talk to me, and I'll see you guys later.